Now we are going to crochet the antenna and we will be making two of these. So the first round is just four single crochet in a magic ring. In round two, we will be doing four increases, which will bring you to eight stitches. Now there are only four single crochet in that magic ring, so just work slowly and carefully and use a stitch marker if you can. In round three, we just do eight single crochet around. In round four, we will be doing four decreases to bring you down to four stitches in the round. It can get quite fiddly here, so just work slowly so that you don't miss any stitches. And once again, the stitch marker does help here. For the last two rounds, so rounds five and six, it's just four single crochet around. Once again, just work slowly and carefully here. After round six, we can remove the stitch marker and then just close with a slip stitch. Now we can cut the yarn, making sure there's a bit of a tail for sewing onto the head. The completed antenna should look like this. And once again, you will be making two of these in total. Next, we are going to start on the legs. So the first body segment will get four legs. And the rest of the body segments will get two legs each. Because my caterpillar has four body segments, I will be making 10 legs in total. You will also need to plan out the colors of the legs. I'm going to start with beige for the legs. So for round one, it's four single crochet in a magic ring. Round two, it's four increases, which brings you to eight stitches in the round. Round three, which is the last round of the leg, is eight single crochet around. Close with a slip stitch and then we can cut the yarn leaving a tail for sewing. Once again I will be making 10 of these legs in various colors. Now we are going to start sewing the pieces together. 
I like to start with the head and then do the antenna and then the legs. I like to start by pinning the head onto the body as this just keeps it a bit more secure when you're sewing it together. You don't have to pin it in place, but I find it easier this way. I'm going to sew these pieces together using an invisible join. So I take a stitch from the body and then go up into a stitch from the head and then down into the next stitch on the head and then grab another stitch from the body. And we will repeat this all the way around the head. After the head is secure, you can remove the pins and then you can insert the needle into the head and just bring it through to a few places on the head to secure it. Now we can cut the yarn and just push that little tail through. Next we are going to sew on the antenna. I like to have the antenna two rounds from the center. Once again, I will be doing the antenna using an invisible join. So once the antenna is in place, grab a stitch from the head, go up into a stitch of the antenna, and then down into another stitch of the antenna. Check that the antenna is secure and you can add a few more stitches if necessary. Once the antenna is secure, we can insert the needle just under the antenna and bring the tail through to another point of the head. We will tuck this in later. Okay. 
Now we can sew the next antenna on in exactly the same way. Once the antenna is secure, we can once again insert the needle under the antenna and bring the tail through to that same point where the other tail is. Now we can knot these two tails together and cut the yarn short and just tuck that knot into the head. And now the completed antenna should look like this. Next, we are going to sew on the legs. Two of the legs will go in front and the rest of the legs will go on the underside. So at this point and then at these points along the body. I had camera issues sewing on the first two legs, so I'm going to show you how to sew on the legs using this mustard leg over here. Firstly, I like to take the short tail from the magic ring, so that's the one in the center of the leg, and just insert it where I want that leg to be and bring that tail through to somewhere on that body segment. Then I will sew the leg on using the long tail. And once again, we will be doing an invisible join. So grab a stitch from the body, go up into a stitch, from the leg and then down into the next stitch of the leg and repeat this all the way around. Once the leg is secure, insert the needle under the leg and bring that tail through to the same point as the other tail. We can knot the tails together, cut the yarn and just push that knot into the body. Next you will repeat this for all the legs along the base of the body and then the two in front. After all the legs are sewed on, the caterpillar should look like this. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed the tutorial, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments.